This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 18th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And before I forget about it, I'd like to show you the outside temperature trace I had yesterday. Did not get that much rain, but uh, it was interesting. The thunderstorms were close. And if you notice, my temperature dropped from near uh, 95 degrees almost all the way down to 70 degrees in a very short period of time as the uh, cool outflows from those storms affected us. A little bit uh, less stormy today, expected across north and central Alabama as the cold front has moved to our south. It looks like much of the showers and thunderstorms will be across the southern tier of Alabama and northwest Florida. In the upper atmosphere, we're uh, dealing with a very big ridge over the southwestern United States. It's centered over the Big Bend country of Texas and southern New Mexico. And uh, that big ridge uh, making its influence felt all the way up to the western Great Lakes as it bulges northward producing a number of uh, heat advisories across the southern part and southwestern part of the country, all the way from Southern California over to Louisiana, but all the way up uh, as well to Wisconsin. Across uh, our area, we see a few clouds across the Alabama sky, but for the most part, most people will see sunshine today, a little cloudy air across the southern part, and that's where the storms are expected to stay. Temperatures uh, around the 70-degree mark uh, across much of uh, north and central Alabama. And uh, it looks like by the observations you can see, there's a good deal of fog from about the Shelby County Airport uh, southward across uh, southern Alabama. Radar relatively clear this morning with just a few showers over southwest Georgia and across uh, southern Mississippi as well. The Quantitative precipitation forecast, QPF, uh, kind of gives you the story that we're not expecting to see much rain over the next five days. As a matter of fact, most of that rain likely to come probably uh, late in um, the forecast period, sort of about midweek, uh, around Wednesday, Thursday time frame. But it's showing up, of course, the showers across the Gulf Coast, as well as a front that's expected to come in from the north. Uh, later in the week. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk with an enhanced risk right along the Canadian border uh, across the northern tier of the United States as well as a marginal risk over Louisiana and southern Mississippi, southeastern Louisiana to be specific. The day two outlook shows a slight risk over a good deal of uh, Wisconsin and the western Great Lakes area and then on day three there's no slight risk but a marginal risk uh, ahead of that front up there uh, over uh, the uh, eastern Great Lakes, stretching back uh, into the Plain States in the vicinity of southeastern Iowa. Tropics are relatively quiet, especially uh, way out in the Atlantic, but uh, we do have a little area of disturbed weather uh, over the Yucatan Peninsula. That area has had uh, pretty big struggles because it simply has been over land uh, or close to land, and uh, National Hurricane Center places the par uh, possibility for development at 50% or less as it moves out over the southwest gulf. We'll be watching that in case it does decide to develop. All right, this GFS uh, 06C GFS model run this morning, and uh, there's our front across the southern part of the state. I think the GFS is overdoing the precipitation this far north, but uh, showers confined primarily to the south. On uh, Sunday, the upper air pattern is that huge ridge extending all the way from uh, uh, southern Arizona and uh, New Mexico up across and into the Great Lakes. That's keeping us in a bit of a northerly flow. And as a result, uh, the high pressure settles in over the Carolinas and we're getting uh, slightly less humidity with slightly lower dew points. By Monday, uh, the, the upper ridge is kind of nosing over in response to the main uh, storms, uh, the main westerlies, being across the uh, U.S. Canadian border, and so that keeps the high pretty much in place across the southeastern U.S. And I think that keeps us uh, dry across this area. For Tuesday, uh, we begin to note a little bit of a change as uh, that ridge uh, kind of bulges across the southeastern U.S. But I think we stay dry on Tuesday as well. But Wednesday is when we really begin to see the changes because uh, we see once again that. Uh, north uh, e northwesterly flow coming in across uh, the uh, southeastern part of the country as we begin to develop another trough over the um, east coast area. And uh, that will actually uh, could bring a front down into the area. So I think Wednesday we'll have to introduce the possibility of some showers. But once again, I think they'll be isolated. Now, uh, the European brings that front down into the area as well. So I feel 
pretty good about this. It doesn't bring it quite as far south, so the European a little less bullish on the possibility of some isolated showers. The, the ridge is still the big feature uh, to our west on Thursday. Uh, and again, I think, uh, once again, that's just we're going to see scattered uh, showers, uh, maybe even isolated. That is not very many. Friday, we begin to see something that's beginning to change, and that is we have a nice short wave uh, extending from Iowa into uh, Kansas across the southeastern part of Nebraska. And that's going to be moving our way. And as it does, there's going to be a nice uh, low develop out that, that direction out in the central plain states. The trough is very slow to move. On Saturday, it's approaching the southeastern U.S. So I think by Saturday, we see a little better chance for showers as that front gets down into the area. Uh, and uh, once again, some differences, though. So confidence not real high. Um, the pattern is pretty similar on the European but the European not nearly as bullish on the possibility of showers as the GFS is. All right, looking out into voodoo country, and uh, on Sunday we see that that trough moves by us, and once again we are into the pattern similar to what we uh, are in right now uh, with a bit of a northerly flow, so it looks like we might see a pretty good chance for showers maybe on Sunday uh, and then maybe some air, uh, the air drying out somewhat with that north and northwesterly flow. The overall ridge pattern stays fixed over the southwestern United States uh, around the 28th of June as it kind of um, tips over and is elongated across the southern part of the United States with the main westerly as well to our north. And then when we get out to the end of the period, the GFS is suggesting another possibility that we might see another trough over the eastern part of the country. And the good news about this is if this pattern uh, comes even close to fruition, that it means that we would not be within the greatest part of the heat, so that keeps us down just a little bit. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Expect to have the next one posted by 8 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. Remember, you can always check back on the blog for updates on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.